My name is Tom McCormick and we're standing here today at Thatcher School in Ojai Valley. Behind me is what's called Carpenter's Orchard and Carpenter's Orchard is actually a pasture for the stock, the horses uh, at Thatcher School. We've been involved in a project where, to produce a swale for this uh, orchard and, and the swale is a low-lying area that's meant to uh, slow down the water as it runs off the hillside. Uh, it's going to capture sediments and also we're going to be capturing nutrients as well. And we've uh, just finished today, we've had the California Conservation Corps in, a team of uh, 14 young men and women who've come and helped us uh, construct the swale. Uh, this is in addition to what Thatcher staff uh, has already done. Uh, the maintenance department's been very helpful with their backhoe providing uh, rock and, and dirt and other materials like that. Each one of these small dams contains a waddle, uh, and each waddle uh, contains biochar. So the waddle is designed to slow the water down and stop the sediment. The biochar center, uh, and biochar is essentially charcoal, uh, that, that charcoal center of each one of these waddles will then absorb the nutrients, especially nitrogen uh, and also phosphorus that comes down off of the, the, the fields here. That nitrogen and phosphorus is coming from horse manure, uh, horse waste uh, in, the, in the pasture, and so we're capturing it here before it gets a chance to go into the stream. Uh, you'll, as you look up there, it's, it's dry right now, but as you can see, it has the look of a stream and in the sense that there's rocks scattered about, they help break up the flow of water, uh, and it, it will give a more natural flow to the area rather than have the water just sheeting uh, off the, the land and, and into the uh, drainages. When plants want to start growing in this moisture area around the waddles, uh, they'll have, not only will they have moisture, but they'll have nutrients that have been captured in the char for their use. We've used this technique uh, in other areas, uh, other, other restoration sites that we worked on, and it's proved very effective in promoting plant growth uh, in the areas. Uh, the other thing that we've done, you can see over this side, there's a larger uh, rock dam. Uh, and that dam will act as a, a permeable dam. So as, as the swale fills with water, and we're hoping we get a lot of water this, this coming year, as the swale fills with water, it will slowly sleep out through the dam rather than breaching the, the bank in, in one area or the other. So the California Conservation Corps, not only uh, were they interested in helping with Thatcher build this swale for soil conservation, but uh, one aspect of them, and an aspect where they work with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, is they're interested in the steelhead trout in the Ventura River watershed. By stopping the flow of nutrients off of these fields, uh, by stopping the flow of sediments off of these fields, uh, we're actually improving stream habitat for rainbow trout, uh, steelhead trout, in the Ventura River watershed. So they were here also today. There was uh, some uh, CCC members who were devoted just to the steelhead restoration uh, aspect of it. Uh, and they were very uh, appreciative of Thatcher's efforts to uh, move this ahead.